Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here, and let's continue on with Demon Souls, man. This is the next area. We've visited here very briefly. We grabbed the Morning Star in this area, so before we head into the Valley of Defilement, I might as well go over the equipment I'm going to be bringing with me. So, I, these are the spear. I got the spear and the moon, spear, moon, Uji Katana, uh, and the Crescent Falchion. Any three, any of those three will do. Uh, you could just take one of them and you'd be fine. I got my bow with me, uh, my catalyst, the talisman, and the steel shield plus six. You should be capable of leveling up your character's equipment to that level by now, too. So if you follow this guide, that is. And uh, you want to make sure you have at least uh, ten lotists to heal poison and ten to heal plague, just for precautionary reasons when we go in here. And the only real spell probably that we're really going to need is a uh, flame toss and heal. So... Aside from that, bring your normal 150 arrows and uh, head on into the Valley of Defilement. Now this place, you want to be very careful. Because you make a misstep, you fall down, you're going to die. So, just kind of watch the way I go through. And again, you're going to want to fully explore. This is just a way to clear it out. And we're going to go through and kill the head demon so we can unlock the area. So, I like having a spear in here. Just for the fact that I can block and attack while I'm got my shield up so and it's very narrow as well so <laughs> we see these narrow passageways like as I'm coming around the side and this guy I'm just waiting for him to drop down but it's very narrow you know you take wide sweeping swing you could uh, you know come into a bad angle and get knocked off a cliff and die somehow so I do remember I'm, I'm thinking I want to go with the spear it's good if you can do it but I know my moon Uji Katana should probably kill these guys with one hit so I'm gonna switch over to it very soon so just kind of follow the path I'm taking down here. Most of these enemies are fairly easy to deal with, with the weaponry we should have. Uh, you can, you know, use flame toss too. Uh, two shots should kill them. Uh, going about the weaponry, uh, I should have maybe explained a little bit more too, that if you have some kind of flame weapon, or even if you want to bring turpentine with you in here, and if you just buy a whole bunch of it and keep your weapon soaked in it the whole time, these things will be easy to deal with too. So I'm just going to hop down here and take them out. But I'm trying to lure this one over here first. I want, you know, I always like to fight one on one. It's the best way to get through uh, areas in this game, since enemies don't respawn unless you head back to the nexus. So, just kind of getting a group them together. Triple kill. Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, double kill. <laughs> uh, where is he? There's another guy. No, yeah, there he is. So, uh, just always kind of keep an eye on your back too in here. Sometimes enemies seem to spawn randomly behind you. So you'll notice a few times in here I'll check my back and there will be an enemy following me around. So I figure this is a good time to heal. Why not? Uh, and at this point, I think I'm going to change my ring too. Yeah, I'm like, what am I even thinking? I don't really need magic in here. So uh, let's switch to the one that has regenerating magic power. That way we can just use heal periodically and maintain a full magic bar as well in case we need to use flame toss. There are a few areas in this stage that we're going to use flame toss, but for now, nah. These guys are easy enough, it's just melee them. One shot. Should be one or two swings tops. Anyway, here we go. Just keep following the path. Keep following my path. Just kind of showing you a couple flame tosses will do the trick. And as someone see, yeah, there. Someone seems to have come out of the ground or spawned somehow behind me. That does happen in here. And always just be sure to be on the lookout for that. So it doesn't, you know get in your way as well because it's kind of a pain in the ass <laughs> and uh right here there's a couple guys i mean they have really random it seems like random timing as they swing at me so i kind of tend to play defensive against these and there's another one i don't think that one was there before so i think it just popped out again so all right keeping the distance don't the flame tosses and from here i like to just drop right down in here some people want to go down the ladder i don't think so i say just drop right in no one should be behind me now yeah, okay, we're good. And go in here and just slowly uh, sweep the room, clear it out. The steel shield, if you've got it powered up like I do, uh, you should have basically be fully capable of getting enough shards and chunks and things like that at this point to have a steel shield plus six too. So if you don't, if you don't know how uh, to get your shield up to that level, just let me know. I can kind of give you a couple of pointers that'll take you not too long to. Uh, I can point you in the right direction, you'll figure out how to do it. So from here, I'm, I noticed I uh, switched right to my bow. You'll see, uh, we're going to need our bow in a minute here. So, But as I've always recommended, 
always have your bow on you with at least 150 arrows. So it will be useful. Not really necessarily for killing, but it's going to be useful for luring a particular enemy out. There's two of them in here, and, and there's a whole bunch of enemies that spawn out of this haystack. I think it's a haystack. Whatever. Stack of water. Oh, damn it. And these guys are poisonous, too, which is why I mentioned to bring those lotuses in. So. Just keep following the path I'm taking, and you're going to see some weird-looking enemies in this room in a second. But I want to go down here and grab the set of armor. I'm not really going to use it, but... Oh, uh, just kind of might as well go grab it, right? And I'm not going to grab all items. Another one. I don't know. Maybe he just came out of that room with those weird things. But there's another one. All right. So come over here. There's a suit of armor. If you want to wear it, be my guest. I kind of like what I'm wearing now. And again, as I've said, I, I really truly believe that armor in this game is just for looks. I mean, it doesn't matter. Where are these guys coming from? But. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Just keep following. These things you don't want to get near because if you slash at it and you attack it from the wrong angle or at a really close distance, you'll get poisoned. So, damn it. You know, I'm just going to manually aim my flame toss. Check that one out. Oh, missed. All right. See if I can. There we go. And then some little bugs will pop out and just slash the bugs. Uh, they're not really much of a threat, but they sometimes do drop upgrade materials. So, you might as well kill the beetles. There we go. It's kind of a... Damn it, I can't even... <laughs> that was kind of a pain in the butt because of this weapon. I should have... Ah, uh, didn't even switch. And here's a merchant. There's one thing in particular that I think that this merchant has that you should take note of, and it is black turpentine. That stuff is extremely powerful if you uh, use it on one of your weapons. So Keep that in mind. And there's a bunch of rats down here. <laughs> Do not go in here unless you want to get the plague. So... This is, my opinion, the best way to deal with these rats. Just keep firing fire, you know, uh, flame tosses at them, soul rays, whatever. Uh, throw fire bombs at them, shoot arrows at them, just whatever. Get rid of these rats. You don't want to catch the plague. It's a pain in the ass. So I think there's a few more rats in here trying to get rid of them all so I don't get sick. All right. Took them all out. Got some grass. But, um, uh-oh. Okay. Right, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to take out this big guy. Don't worry about any of the shortcuts and stuff like that for right now, guys. It's not a big deal. It's not hard to figure out how to get over, the, how to do all this and unlock this whole area. So all we're going to do is take out this big guy. It's one of these other things, but it, what the? Stop throwing rocks at me. Damn it. <laughs> Everyone keeps throwing rocks at me. So what I'm going to do is fire an arrow at him just to get his attention. That's my main goal here. I want him to come over here and fight me. I don't want to fight him on that bridge. I want to fight him over here. So, eating some spice, make sure I have some flame toss, magic power left, and fire a few arrows at him. Come on. Come here, big guy. Come here. Man, I'm missing all completely. It doesn't matter, though. Who cares? All right. Got him. Whoa. Got him. Got him again. All right, here we go. Flame toss. Easy as that. Now, if you run up and just try to go you know, mono a mono with those guys. You probably could be a... wouldn't be very difficult with uh, this character, how we're beefed up, and where we're at. So... Oh, just another room for all these stupid guys. Like I said, this place, I don't know if I did mention it, is not really very difficult. It's just, as long as you're careful about how you travel around, watch your footing, you know, take it easy, don't go too fast, uh, play smart, it's not that difficult. So, here we go. More of these big... Whatever these tomatoes, I guess. <laughs> what the hell would you call this thing, man? It's like the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or blobs or... I don't know, man. They're just these big disgusting beetles. And I guess maybe that's their... I don't know. Like the egg sack or something that we destroyed. No, the, the mama... I don't know. I, someone please tell me what the hell these things even are, dude. I, I'm not one of those guys who looks into the, to the lore of this game and what everything means, all the symbolism and all that stuff. I'm not really into, into all that. I mean, it's interesting. I do think it's cool, but... Anyhow, all right, here we go. There's another one of those big guys, and they are particularly dangerous in my opinion, so I'm just kind of firing some arrows. Clear the little guys out, and get the big guy's attention too. Again, come over here. So he can fight me again on my terms. I don't want to fight him on this bridge. I want to fight him in here where we've got some room to move around. That's my whole goal of that. So here we go. Come on. Come on. Just get out of his way. Take three swings. Maybe four, and bam, 
<laughs> With this overpowered weapon we've got, guys, this uh, area really should be a breeze. So, coming up here is the boss fog. So, it's as simple as that. That is your way to uh, clear out the Valley of Defilement and get to the boss. So, all I would suggest is switching out your uh, bow for the Talisman of God. So, you've got heal ready. And I will, uh, you want heal as your spell. So, anyway, I'll be back with the next video right here. And I'll show you how to beat the next boss, guys. Take it easy.